And even more here, commuters are riding the rails and buses more and more these days, according to public transportation officials. News 12 Connecticut, Sean McCabe has more on the trends that you're seeing now, plus advice from local doctors on how to stay COVID safe while using public transit. Right at the beginning of December, uh, we were carrying a little bit more than 50% of our pre-COVID ridership during the week uh, and doing even better on the weekend. That's up from just 5% of usual ridership at the start of the pandemic. Metro North President Kathy Rinaldi says masks are required for riders. People have been really pretty good about wearing them. Our conductors have them. Somebody enters a train just having forgotten their mask, our conductors will you know, give them one. I think you just sort of have to um, do the safest thing, you know, possible in, in a practical way. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Jamie Meyer says if you're nervous about getting back to public transportation, there are ways to mitigate your risk. Can I get vaccinated? Can I get boosted? Um, can I wear a high quality mask? You know, am I able to maybe, you know, sit a seat or two apart? Officials with Greater Bridgeport Transit say ridership has been increasing steadily over the past six months after it took a nosedive at the start of the pandemic. Normally before the pandemic, we were doing anywhere from 16, 17,000 customer boardings a day. Uh, that's now down to about 12, but at its lowest was around four. General Manager Doug Holcomb says like Metro North trains, GBT buses are deep cleaned daily. The rules are pretty easy. You know, wear the mask, keep your distance if you can. Um, the drivers are all behind barriers now. Dr. Meyer says keeping your distance will be easier at off peak hours. If you sort of can you know change your travel time so that you're traveling at a, at a time when um, those uh, those smaller enclosed spaces are less crowded in Bridgeport Sean McCabe News 12 Connecticut Greater Bridgeport Transit is going to hold the vaccination clinic at their Water Street bus terminal on January 25th and also on February 3rd there'll be another one so for more information on those vaccine clinics we do have a link to their website at our website, news12.com, just log on and check it out. You can also check out the News 12 app. It's all there for you.